Hey, this is David B69. Welcome to today's video. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well, and hit the notification bell for future videos. Let's get on to the show. Hey everybody, this is David B69 and welcome to day four of four for our PlayStation video game collection. I hope you've been enjoying this series. It is going to be finito, done, complete, and somewhere in this mixture of these releases will probably be some other unboxing and stuff and everything. I think I got um, some stuff that's like really cool from for PlayStation and some other stuff. This would be. See, today's video will be released on Monday. So on today's video, um, which I don't know if it's going to be out yet or not, but I think it's NES and some Nintendo 64 games. Check and look in the channel and see if, see if the what's called, have they been posted yet? Um, but that should happen on Monday. And then we have a video games monthly box that could arrive Monday or Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and so that's, it makes it a really busy week. Um, and this is the last busy week we're going to have until we're at Siege the following weekend. So Siege and stuff and everything is the middle of the month. And it's going to be like so exciting. So I'm so excited to have it um, and go there. And just be and hang with so many cool people, see so many different things, see so many different games and different like things out there. Um, I'm just like really excited. Um, so yeah, let's get this started in our last group of games on the PlayStation. But I'm doing the long box first, and you'll see why I'm doing the long box first. It's because they're all sport games, and I really don't want to end the whole series on a sports game. So, but so let's go through these first. We have PGA Tour Golf '96. Um, yeah, the '96, '97. Those versions of golf on the PlayStation One were they were not as dynamic as the rest of the series, um, per se. Here is FIFA 96. Um, again, not as dynamic as some of the other ones because it's the first one. It needs time for the for the whole thing to brew up and gain strength. And here's NFL Game Day. The most impressive part about NFL Game Day was the fact that this was their first game in the series. And they were actually, like, strong enough to actually look decent enough that they can go head-to-head -head against a big hitter of EA. Um, nobody was expecting that, and it was just kind of impressive. Uh, the developers spent a lot of time, and they did a good job. Now, let's continue with... Here's NBA Live 97. NBA Live 98, which I got to like put out a big admission here. I stink. If you ever saw me play any of these NBA games on some of the series that I've done, man, I am a load of garbage on these games. Even today, um, here's 2000. Um, I just am not good at these games on the PlayStation, um, I'm good at 2K, um, but for some reason, back then, kind of garbage. I don't know. If, I think it was the camera angle mainly. Um, so I just wasn't as good. I mean, these th games are still fun, and I did spend a lot of time on them, but... I didn't actually get good at basketball games, I swear, until like like the PS3 and 360 era. 
Here's a March Madness 2000. Here's Shootout 97. Here is Shootout 2001. Shootout 2002. Shootout 2004. Probably I'm missing 2003. Um, in the zone 2000. NBA, Fox Sports NBA Basketball 2000. NBA Jam Extreme. Yeah. Here's uh, NBA Showtime, NBA on NBC. And I think this was the one that was made by the original developers of NBA Jam. They just lost the name. Um, so yeah, you can see this is by Midway. Um, yeah, it's like the Showtime was actually like better than the ABA Jams back then, which is really freaky. Here's Legend of Ligaya. And I believe that's the pronunciation. I believe I have that right. Here is Chrono Cross. There's Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto 2. I like these old... Uh, Grand Theft Auto games. They were kind of wild. Here is FIFA 98. Road to the World Cup. FIFA 99. FIFA 2000. FIFA 2001. FIFA 2002. Which this one included Major League Soccer. So I think that was a really big deal for that back, the game back then. Yeah, because it's like in, like they had 16 leagues and more than 400 teams in this one. And they don't even talk about that in the last one. So. FIFA 2003. 2004. And this one is like. 12 leagues, 6,000 players, and 200 official teams. Here's FIFA 2005. Here is Backyard Soccer. These backyard games were like really just a lot of goofy and pick up and play and playing in your backyard. Just, just basically fun. That's what games should be is fun. David Beckham soccer. Original Command and Conquer. Here is the Die Hard Trilogy. Here's a great game. Warcraft to the dark saga i'm going to tell you nice and early 
Warcraft 2, the Dark Saga, will be my top game of all these games. Um, here's Namco Museum, Volume 1. Here's Tales of Destiny. Tobol number one. Now the whole reason of getting Tobol number one was Final Fantasy VII demo was included. Oh, it's a sampler CD actually. Um, so it was more than just it was more than just uh, Final Fantasy VII on it. I don't remember exactly what was on it, but a lot of good games on it. Then we have Soviet Strike. We have Nuclear Strike. Yeah, it's my like these are my favorite series, so it's like that's what makes it really hard and everything. That's why Warcraft is like number one, but it's not easy to say that. This is the Activision Classic Games. Now, this is like really, really cool because it has Pitfall, Kaboom, the ice hockey game, uh, Tennis River Raid was awesome. Um, so yeah, there's so many great games. Just on here for the Activision Classic games on the Atari 2600. So that was like really, really cool. Here is You Are the Weakest Link. Goodbye. Love that series. That was a lot of fun. Here is the classic games from the Intellivision. Speaking of like a lot of fun games to play, um, this was like really cool because like I loved baseball. Um, foot, the football series. My my neighbor across the street had an Intellivision. I don't have an Intellivision, but if I'm going to play it, I'll play it on here. Um, but there's a lot of like really like cool games. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's it's just Space Armada, Astro Smash. I mean, there's like a lot of great titles on here. Um, and I would highly recommend you picking that up because it's, like I said, a lot of fun, cool games that were in television based, but you don't need it in a television. You just play right on your PlayStation. Here is Scrabble. Scrabble's a lot of fun to play. Here is RP Alex with Jeopardy. Really love the Jeopardy series. And then we got Jeopardy 2nd Edition. Who wants to be a millionaire? Um, this is the 2nd Edition. And here's the 3rd Edition. Never been able to find the 1st Edition. Here's You Don't Know Jack, Mach 2. I loved... Man, I'm having issues today with these things falling down. Here's the original You Don't Know Jack. Here's Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Just recently got these. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Pro Skater 2. Again, the difference between the Nintendo 64 and this one, the Nintendo 64 was slightly better um, control-wise, in my opinion. The stick was just had a little bit better movement for me, but music-wise, you can't beat the PlayStation version, so it's like really, really a hard, hard choice. And lastly, the last game on the PlayStation in this list is Sim City 
2000. So yeah, it's a great series. Like I said, Warcraft 2 is definitely like going to be the top of my list. Um, but as you can see, there's so many different games. Let me know what your favorite is. I tried to make this save the best for last. Um, I hope you enjoyed this series. Um, like I said, next up is PlayStation 2. That is not going to be an easy test to set up. I'm thinking of prob probably holding that one and staying with that one until after Siege. Um, so that way I have time to plan it and figure things out. Um, because there's a lot that, there's a lot of like little things to do beforehand. So it's probably going to wait till then. But until next time, this is David B69. I hope everybody stays safe. Have a happy 4th of July. Until then, peace out.